Oh, it's uh, Bini here. Thanks for joining the master class uh, for the ABC swing trading strategy for active and part-time traders. Today, I'll be going through on how you can use the trading view to set in all the indicators which are used in this strategy. Uh, the first one would be Bollinger Band. The second one would be multi-time period charts, which is Autobox. And lastly, which will be Divergence Indicator. So let's get started. First, you press this button here that says Indicator. Click on that then type Bollinger and once you type Bollinger or rather you just type maybe B-O-L-L -L, you should see this indicator that pops up under technicals it says Bollinger Bands okay not the Bollinger Bands strategy or not the Bollinger Bands width but just the Bollinger Bands and then click on that now once you click on it you should be able to see on the left hand side it pop up the Bollinger Band all right so you don't need to um, make any changes to it, just keep it as default. But should you want to change the color, for example, you can just click on this view button here. Let me just demonstrate again. This view little button here. And then click on that and then go to style and change the colors accordingly. Alright, once you've done that, you can click OK. Now the second one is to put in the auto boxes. Same thing, go under indicators and then look for multi time period charts. Okay, click on that multi-time period charts once you click on it same thing it will appear to um to your uh, left hand side right you're going to see this multi-time period chart all right so we're going to do a little bit of a setting here so click on setting highlight on this indicator click on setting then under inputs okay instead of choosing auto time frame okay uncheck this auto time frame and the time frame that you select should be a month okay one month here all right, then you can go under the body to change the colors accordingly. Okay, so we have the other box and the Bollinger Band, um, you know, already added. The last one we need to add is the Divergence Indicator. Same thing, go under Indicator and then you type Divergence. Okay, you should see this under Technicals, Divergence Indicator. So click on that. Now, once you click on it, you know, it will just pop up a new one. Those have already added, so I'm just going to remove the old one. And in the divergence indicator, we're just going to make some change. Okay, so go under the setting. We're going to change this RSI period to 5. So that's the only thing that you need to do. Okay, change set to 5. And you can show whether you want to plot the bullish or bearish classical divergence. Or you want to plot the hidden or the uh, bullish and the hidden bearish divergence. Okay, so if you want to show everything, you can just check everything. And then you might want to change the style as well to show the different colors. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you just can click OK. So once you click OK, you're going to come up with all the indicators accordingly to what I've shown in the class. Okay, so once you've done that, you can just save this as a template. Meaning that you go to the right hand side in this portion here, you want to actually save it as a load, uh, as a chart layout. Or if you can go and click into this four little square button here and click on that and you want to save this indicator template as any template that you want to have 